This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 696, Finding Joy by Accepting Things That Bother Us, by Allison Carmen of alisoncarmen.com. Hello, everybody. I am Greg Audino, and welcome back to ORD. Glad to have you here for the beginning of a new week. This is where I narrate relationship articles to you each weekday, just like an audiobook, except better. According to a recent study, we are better. Uh, Today's article is by Alison Carmen, who shares her experience with accepting the present moment, no matter how bothersome it might be, uh, with a powerful mantra to follow as well. So let's hear what she has to say and start optimizing your life. Finding Joy by Accepting Things That Bother Us by Alison Carmen of alisoncarmen.com Quote, Happiness can exist only in acceptance. George Orwell The other night, my friend and I went to see a show. It was very crowded in the theater, so when the show was over, it took a long time to exit. My friend started to get very uptight about people not walking more quickly and was really bothered. For my part, I really didn't think much of it. We were talking about the show as we were shuffling out, and I accepted the slow pace as part of what happens when you go to the theater. Part of my mind detached and looked at the situation. I found it so interesting that we were both having the exact same outer experience, but such a different inner experience. My friend just wanted to leave the theater, and in her mind, it was wrong how slowly everyone was walking. But this thought created impatience and frustration on her part. I'm no Buddhist monk, but I accepted the situation and enjoyed my time talking as we inched out the door. When I got home, I was a little harsh about my friend as I repeated the story to my husband. But as I was repeating the story, I was reminded of how I had been in a cab going to the show earlier that night and there was traffic. I got upset that there was traffic and that I would be late for the show. Recalling this, I laughed a little. There was no difference between me and my friend. Why? We were both resisting the moment. It doesn't matter if one person's thinking, The line should be moving quicker, and another, there should not be traffic on Park Avenue at this time of day. These are just our stories of how life should be, stories that make us stressed and miserable. And even if my friend and I are right about these situations, does it matter? What should be is not what is happening in the moment, and because we are trapped in how things should be, we are not free. So what is the key to internal freedom and joy? In a word, it is acceptance. Often when I speak to clients about the idea of acceptance, their knee-jerk reaction, no matter what their problem is, is, why would I accept this? It's not right, or I'm not just going to give up and accept these circumstances. But believing that something's right or that you have to give up is not what acceptance is. For me, the acceptance is seeing things as they are in the moment and simply accepting this is the experience you are having. The struggle of, why is this happening, this should not be happening, or this is unacceptable, ends when we accept things as they are. Sometimes there's nothing to do about a situation, as when we're leaving a crowded theater or when we're in traffic. The minute you accept the thing that's driving you nuts, you stop struggling with it, and you stop feeling pain. There's nothing to do but relax in the present with the experience and see what life has to offer. Oftentimes, acceptance helps you find peace and less suffering, even as you remain open to changing your circumstances in the future. Acceptance does not change your passion or need for change, but allows you to show up in the moment with peace about what is, and strength and focus to make things different. Nowadays, when my kids don't clean their rooms, it rains and I don't have an umbrella, or a client forgets our meeting, I try to smile and say, I did not expect this but I accept this. Maybe everything is okay. I take a big breath in and smile. I still tell my children to clean their room when they get home. I buy a $5 umbrella that will break in a week, and I try to figure out an effective way to remind my clients of our meetings. I do all of those things. At the same time, I am accepting the moment for what it is. This is a true path for less suffering and more ease in everyday life. Take a moment and think about a few aspects of your life that you are not accepting. How would it feel to not struggle with it anymore? Can you accept this circumstance and relax into the moment? Can you accept your situation and still try to improve your circumstances in the future? Try the mantra, I did not expect this, 
but I accept this. Maybe everything is okay. And then see what shows up in your life. You just listened to the post titled, Finding Joy by Accepting Things That Bother Us, by Allison Carmen of AllisonCarmen.com. And speaking of moments of frustration, anyone who's been married out there knows that suit and tuxedo rentals are no walk in the park. Your guy says he'll see to it while you secretly keep your fingers crossed and hope that the groom and the groomsmen get their outfits sorted out on time. So if you're worried that your attention to detail makes you look like a bit of a bridezilla, just know that Generation Tux is on your side. Their free home try-on program for grooms comes with free round-trip shipping and free swatches. How does it work? Everything arrives on the doorstep of all the party members a whole two weeks before the wedding, and on-demand fit consultations allow you to take care of any fit issues long before the 11th hour. The more the merrier is how it goes with Generation Tux. Five paid members get you a free suit or tuxedo rental, and you can even keep your suit or tux when seven members are checking out. Otherwise, when the party's over, just place everything back in the box and use your prepaid label to drop it off at UPS. So don't leave it to chance. Save time, save money, and save your sanity by checking out www.generationtux.com slash ORD. Use promo code ORD for 10% off the entire groom's party attire and party on. And yet another fine post from Allison, which we are happy to share and we thank her for. Trying to catch yourself in the moment, as she instructs, can definitely be tricky to do. Uh, Even for an expert such as herself, we all have the traffic frustrations when we know there's nothing we can do to change it. This practicing of acceptance will not stick right away. You might only catch yourself five times the first week of trying, maybe even one time the first week of trying. But the more you get into this rhythm, the more readily available Uh, acceptance will be, and the more you'll find yourself accepting things more easily. And if we're talking meta-acceptance, I suppose the first thing to accept would be the struggle to accept things itself. Maybe? Okay, that's too much. Let's wrap it up before uh, my brain explodes. Thank you so much for joining me on this Monday episode, everyone. I hope you have a great start to your week. I will see you back here tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.